Her kids are grown, she's traveling, living a good life. And she's tired. Y'all get ready. Mama? Rima. Rima, you got everything? Yeah. Yeah, I got Delivery. Hey, yo, bro, that's me. Sipping with me and my money. How much are you again? Okay, sir, your total is 20 even. I right, bet. Uh, uh, company policy states I can only carry $20 a change. <laughs> Broke ass. Everybody got a 20? Huh? Hey, homeboy ain't got a chance for no 100. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Hey, he's like, come and pass say that. Hey, come on, man. Give it up. I know one of y'all got some money. Well, I got this. Oh, man. God, that's a knot. Hey, you always broke. What you got? I ain't forgetting that. I ain't even come up off me. I don't got no money, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> give him you always give got it. dollars bro. You already got a few dollars. Damn, man. Yeah, come on. Yeah, give it up. Oh, Look at this. Shit. Got this money smelling like feet. Come on. You hungry, right? I'm trying to hide it. You trying to hide it? Man, you broke my last 20, man. Daddy gave me that 20 for some zigzags and a do-rag, man. I wanna have to give you my shit. Oh, you're 25, right? No, sir, your total is 20 even, but we accept. There you go. Hey, get your ass out of here, old broke ass. Hey, you can go. Put your money up, huh? Go, wait. 
<laughs> you know what you need to do, right? You need to go down there and put on one of the uniforms and get your ass a cup and stand outside of Walmart and beg for some money. What kind of soldier don't know how to take care of his family, bro? You've been telling me for months now that the VA didn't approve your disability. Where the money at? Oh, so you think that you working all these little delivery jobs that's not paying no bills? Don't you know that we gotta be out of here by the 15th? Okay, so you don't hear me now? These little old jobs that you filling out, that's not cutting it, okay? You know what? I'm about to take me and these kids and we about to move back to Detroit. Oh, okay, you don't hear me. All right, we out. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it don't matter, man, either or. Are you sure? Cool. Looks like they just dropped off some type of shipment. Smith is already over there. He's been scouting out for about four hours. He says the coast is clear, so right now is showtime. Dangerous prison gangs in the country. The Mexican mafia is in the business of drugs. It's cool and murder. Where the fuck is the money? Oh, relax, baby. We're good now. <laughs> Where the fuck is the money? Oh, relax, baby. We're good now. <laughs> Don't tell me to relax when we're missing almost $9,000. Nine fucking thousand dollars. Who's gonna kill us? Don't you trust me at all, baby? Damn. I paid for this half a kilo of cash and after I told him about my booming business, he fronted me the other two. What business? So after watching two episodes of Drugs Inc, you're some type of drug lord now? Tony, listen to me, you know nothing about selling drugs. We're already fucked from your last business ideas and, and gambling issues. You can't keep a job and we have a baby on the way. And you owe money to the Mexican Mafia. The Mexican fucking Mafia. Google that shit. Look what they do to people who owe the money. You know what? I, I'm done. I'm done risking my life for you. And I'm not going to get my head cut off with a dull butter knife because of you, Johnny. How you fucking need no. to chill out. My boy Smith knows all about pushing weight. It's what he does every day on the street, okay? We got an order for this half a key. It's pre-order. Uh, yeah, we do got a drop tonight. I mean, with the drought going on, it's a pre-order on half a key. We'll have that gone, and we got two weeks to get rid of the rest. I mean, it's going to be gone in a week. Just relax. This is an easy 40K, okay? We're going to pay him back. You know, you know, it's, it's always, profit. you know, to stop. It's always something new with you. Every time we're That's almost out of a situation, you fuck stuff up with your bright it is. Pablo's not going to give us another extension. We have a baby on the way, Johnny. Trust me. Every time I do, we get deeper and deeper in hey, shit. Hey, guys, guys, guys. It's, it's Connect. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, you need the drop tonight? All right, we're on our way. Hey, Johnny, it's Connect. We got to roll, dude. It's supply and demand. Let's go, man. Let's bounce. We'll, we'll pick these other two when we get back. Right, cool. See you still can't draw. What? Oh, no, you it's not me. Hey, that's your handwriting. I remember it from the love letter I got from you in the third grade. Ha <laughs> ha, third grade. Anyway, it was a letter to Ro. I wanted you to pass it to him. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't. That boy ain't been right since he got kicked out the army. You right. know he still ain't told his wife the truth yet. Anyway, we all not gonna be right unless we hit this house. We got less than 48 hours, so how do we know he's got everything we need? I'm telling you. 
Bro's been in there. He's seen the money. $100,000 at least. That's what they say on the street. About five kilos this time of month. Yeah, hey, they did just drop off a few packages, so they gotta be loaded. Cool. Ain't about two, three people in there this time of day. And the police? What about the police? This South Dallas. Police don't even come down to South Dallas unless they get called or something. We ain't robbing a bank. Hey, we gotta hurry this up. I damn near charge you everything I learned in the army. We've been practicing how to stack, breach, clear rooms for almost a week. Everybody's had enough time at the fire ranch, we should be good. Right. We're spending a lot of time planning this out. It's time to make a profit. So just as planned, me and Johnny, we're gonna take the front. Rima Smith, you guys are gonna take the back. Go around the pool and through the garage. There's a meth lab there. It may be one guy in there, take his ass out and meet us in the kitchen. Okay. Shoot first, ask questions later. Okay, hold up. Shoot first, ask questions later? Hell yeah. Those guys are paid to kill anybody that comes in that place. Before you end up with a barrel in your face, you gotta make a decision. It's either you or them. A lawyer's not gonna save you, Kim. We caught you trying to sell two kilograms of pure cocaine with Tijuana cartel markings on them to Officer Eugene over here. Your life is over, Kim. You're looking at a life sentence. I needed the money, okay? Right, right. To skip town on your boyfriend and some guy named Pablo, look, I'm tired of the victim act here, Kim. We're offering you a plea deal. Just sign the paperwork, tell us who and where you got the drugs from, and you can keep running for all I care. I don't know where I got them from my boyfriend, and I don't know where he got them from. Oh, so your boyfriend got them. Well, maybe since you don't want to talk, maybe he will. Can I have a word with my client, please? Out, detectives. <sighs> Mrs. Scott. I'm Kim. You can call me Kim. Yeah, whatever. Um, look. Kim, you have cases pending with your so-called ex-boyfriend. You have two priors. And for strike three, you decide to get caught with two pure kilos of cocaine. Come on, there, there has to be something that you can do. In the state of Texas, two keys get you 40 years. And that's with a clean record. Take the plea deal, Kim. Or that child you're carrying will never know his mother. One man's mistakes, another man's come up, right? Let me see that. A decision without the pressure of consequences is hardly a decision at all. If I were you, I'd wear the wire. 